All right, Mr. Fogelson here. Welcome to my channel. Practice what you preach, practice what you teach. All right, just a little recap. We, in our previous tutorials, made our 31, actually, we've got 32 because zero counts as a frame, 32 frames uh, in Pixel Toolbox. But um, I want to show you something because in Pixel Toolbox, right, when it loads up, we've got our color pattern 16 by 16. And when we go to our palette, right, um, we've got 256 colors. But take a look at the bottom here. When I hover over this, it says Windows 8-bit. All right, this is a problem because Game Frame uses 24-bit depth files, okay? So keep that in mind that we now have to convert these Pixel Toolbox um, files to 24-bit. All right, so how do we do that? Good question. I'm going to exit out of there. Um, there is a nice converter. It's free. I use it, um, and it's called Airfan View. Okay, we've got 32-bit and 64-bit for whatever computer you're using. Just download, and what's cool? It's free, right? That's cool. It's free, right? This is access for everyone. Um, very nice for your game frame designs, uh, educational purposes. Sweet. All right, so um, I'm going to go ahead and click on the AirFan View because I already downloaded it. Uh, icon looks kind of like a roadkill-ish red like animal. Um, I think it's supposed to be like compressed, like because of the batch files, it's all compressed. You do it all at once. All right. Um, so I opened up Airfan View, and the first thing you're going to do is go to File Batch Conversion Rename. Okay, so File Batch Conversion Rename. Now, here's what I suggest for those who are listening to this tutorial right now: pause this video when needed, um, rewind if needed, because this is a really important part. If you kind of skip over, forget stuff, it will affect your game frame. So um, just Take your time with this part. There's a lot of steps, and if you forget, right, you can always rewind, right? I'm going and rewind. Actually, why am I doing slow-mo? I don't know. All right, so I'm going to go over to Airfan View, File, Batch Conversion Rename, and then a couple things you have to note with your batch conversion, okay? So it usually opens up. The batch conversion's good. It starts out you off at a JPEG output. You really want to change it to a BMP because it, you actually have to change it to a BMP to work for your game frame. So it has to be BMP, BMP, just like your files from Pixel Toolbox. Then you're going to want to check this box, okay? Make sure you use advanced options. Check that box. Click advanced. All right, a couple things to note. All right, so a couple things aren't checked. This will come unchecked. Make sure you check that, and it usually starts off at 256 colors, 8-bit. That's what Pixel Toolbox put it in. We want to put it in game frame format, LEDs, right, light uh, emitting diodes, 16.7 million colors, 24 bit. All right, make sure that's checked. Make sure you get rid of anything that's here, and we're all set there. One of the things I also hone in on is make sure it's got some RGB, so I'm going to go ahead and check that box. Make sure nothing is checked over here, okay? I don't know if it adds some goofiness, but I just play it safe. I'm going to hit OK. And the next thing is, is we got to add our input files, right? We're going to put the files that we want to convert. So I click on that folder with the files that I created from Pixel Toolbox from before, drag it onto the folder in there, um, actually the uh, white box. Now, something that I really want to make sure that you do is make sure your output, output directory is on your desktop, okay? So I'm just going to put desktop because if it puts it in a folder, it may overwrite overwrite your files if it if it gives it to your default one it says c colon backward slash temp so make sure you're putting that output so you can see it right away on your desktop i scrolled up click desktop press ok now i have everything i have the output the inputs now i'm ready to start my batch um, i'm going to click start batch and it starts that batch and you'll notice it loads up all the files on the desktop i'm going to exit and hit ex exit again, right? And they're all here, all right? I have all my files, really nice. Now, hopefully you saved your original files um, to an external hard drive. I saved it on the network. Um, you can save it to an, uh, another SD card, not your micro, but another one. Just save your original files, because it's always an idea to make sure if you make a mistake with that batch file, that you have the original files. I'm gonna go ahead and select them all, hit delete, hit yes, and what I'm going to do is then go through and make sure I have all the files there. Okay, what I do is I'm going to go ahead and select them all, and remember, this could be also your batch when you check, when you drag that to the input files, that you have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So you have all the numbers there in regards to your files from 0 to 31, because if you don't, right, then your game frame won't show up. It'll be broken. It won't work, and then you'll get kind of hangry. But make sure you eat before you do this because you don't want to get hangry. Um, so keep in mind that they all are labeled in the correct order from 0 to 30 or whatever it is, whatever number it is. The higher the number, the longer the animation. Good luck.